Mamasini, thank you so much for the five euro super chat, dude. <laughs> he says, pig requiring your wise counsel. Should I start drinking on the off chance we nab this? Oh shit, wait a second. No, not yet, because they've just been bred in. Charles Phoenix. Charles for Atletico Madrid. Watch out. Here's Griezmann. Over to the back post. They've got a free header in the back stick. For fuck's sake, what a load of old shit the Bedford baffled it and get. It's fucking Lodi at the back post with a free header. And United, you can see it coming. He just got undone there. Fucking undone. Down the right-hand side, Charles Phoenix held it up. And he's just knocked it round the corner for his matey to go onto it. And he's put, just popped it up to the back post. And fucking... Fucking Lodi's there just to header it in. Free header, guys. Good header. Good goal for them. Shit defending. Nobody picking up Lodi at the bank stick. It's fucking guff. It's come from, you know, that potential anti anger foul up there. Was that even a foul or not? Look at that. Look at that. They're played in through way too easy. You know, nobody's back in their positions at the time. Maguire isn't fucking anywhere. But then Dallow's nowhere as well. Scott McTominay's not picking anybody up. They're all doing their job. Absolutely fucking shite at the back. Dallow's out of position, mate. And he leaves a free man at the back stick. And nobody else is picking him up either. Fucking useless stuff. Free fucking header at the back stick. David ain't no chance. Bollocks. Wait a sec. Bruno with a lovely flick to Alangra. Alangra takes it into the box. Alangra shot on goal. Oh, it's so close. Oh, Bruno puts the ball in. Ronaldo's almost there. Ronaldo smashed his face into Slabby's head. Did you see that? His teeth. He's just chipped his fucking tooth on Slabby's head. He's got to attack. He's got to get numbers up there. We've got to get, you know, two strikers to attack the ball. Cavani, Ronaldo, 4 1 3 2. And there's the ball in. Oh, it's a wicked save by Oblak. And then the overhead kick by Ronaldo is saved again by Oblak. Unbelievable goalkeeping by him. And Harry Maguire, get the fuck off the pitch, mate. Yes. There you go, Maguire. Piss off. Maguire's coming off for of one matter. He's throwing all the he's throwing all the technical players on. He's doing it. He's taking Mr. Maguire off and he's putting one matter on. But matter is a technical creative player, to be fair. Like he has got the vision to play that that killer pass through when you need him to. Only thing is he's not played any football for fucking a year. Darren Fletcher's just been yellow carded as well. Fletcher, fuck off back to the fucking sporting director tech. What are you doing? You're supposed to be up in the office doing paperwork, mate. Why the fuck? Are you on the sideline anyway, bro? He's got a yellow card. Fucking let Ragnick do his job for Pete's sake. You know what I mean? What is this? Why is he the middleman? Why is he like the fucking spokesperson? I don't get it. He's supposed to be a technical director, mate. Go and fucking do some fucking notes, mate. What? There's a fucking foul by Varane in there. He's awarded a freak against us for fucking what, ref? For fucking what? He's just making up fucking fouls now. Corner comes in. Oh, and Oblak grabs it. Oblak grabs it. That's going to be it, guys. That's the end of the fucking game, more or less. The ref's going to blow his whistle any moment. We're fucking out of the Champions League. We've absolutely shat the bed, mate. Bullshit. Fucking useless tossers, mate. Oh, they're fucking out, mate. Diego Simeone running down the old trap. Oh, fuck off, Diego Simeone. Yes, throw those fucking beers at the twat. And Atletico Madrid are a good team. You know, they won La Liga last season, but they're struggling a little bit this year. They're not a great team right now. But we're still too fucking good for this Manchester United side. They're a bunch of erratic fucking prima donna nosh bags. This is a huge kick in the bollocks now. Out the FA Cup, out the League Cup, struggling to get top four. And now we're out the fucking Champions League at the round of 16. It's pathetic, guys. What do you expect when you have Maguire leading you out as your captain? McTominay and Fred as your starters in midfield. And Fred was actually very good again today. But I'm just saying, like, when, he, when you look at the individual performances week to week, are they consistent enough? Are they good enough? Do these guys turn up every single week? Is there a level of mediocrity that you're accepting by having these guys play? I think there is. I think he's just setting a precedent for United of, of just underperforming. Ultimately, we're just not good enough, Pete. I think we haven't got the quality of players throughout the side. We haven't got the quality of coach that we need as well. No disrespect to Ragnick. He's mopping up. He's just a fucking janitor, guys. He's coming with his mop and bucket, trying to fucking mop stuff up after all. He got a social puked all over the place. Ragnick's coming with fucking sawdust, trying to mop it up. But ultimately, it's a fucking mess. It's a mess. And really, you just need to fucking burn the carpet and buy a new one. Because this one's a fucking mess. And it's always going to smell faintly of fucking vomit. We've accepted a level of complete gashness and mediocrity. Hey, you, Mr. McTominay, fancy playing good one week and then absolute like fucking AIDS the next. That's fine. We'll select you regardless. Hey, Mr. Maguire, you big human piece of breeze block. Fancy fucking doing an own goal. Fancy having a shitter of a performance. No let dummy in the opposition for their fucking goal in the, in the derby. Fancy doing that. And then you can still get selected next week. Nice one, Harry. You got yourself a deal. You know, what is the fucking precedent we're setting at this football club? There's no way we should have a fucking breeze block as our, as our captain. And there's no way some of these players are quality enough to be Manchester United players. There's no way. A lot of them are just 
pretenders. Yeah, Ronaldo's the GOAT. He's one of the best players. He's fucking 37 now, guys. And he needs the service. You can't get the ball to him. We look better when we've got 37 Ronaldo on, 33-year-old Frankenstein's much to Matic or the old heads. This new younger generation of players we've got have got no fucking bollocks, guys. They've got no bollocks. They're not United players. They don't have the arrogance to wear with all the fucking, you know, the, the confidence to say, no, we will not fucking give up. We will batter you, whoever you are. They don't have the fucking cojones. We need players who have got a little bit more about them mentally and just heart-wise. That's what I honestly think. It's not like they're bad guys. They're just bad players, guys. Average players are going to cost you against the top, top teams because we don't have a top, top midfield. You look at their midfield beforehand. De Paul, Herrera, Koke. You're looking at those guys. You're looking at our midfield. we got a fucking... we got a fucking McFred there, guys. Our season's fucking in the shitter. We've pebble-dashed it into the fucking toilet. And uh, that's it. Ragnick just needs to flush it now and complete the fucking send-off. Simple as that. It's, 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 it's season over. Season over. He's not the right man, is he, guys? If he was the right man, we wouldn't be getting fucking dumped out round the 16 Champs League, failing to get past fucking Middlesbrough in the fourth round of the fucking FA Cup. Was it the fucking fourth round, was it? We probably will sign up Harry Maguire to a new 16-year fucking contract, mate. And with the with the proviso that after two years, he goes into the fucking uh, consultancy position as a fucking fridge in our canteen, mate. And then we've also got, um, you know, like you say, Rashford might get a new contract. You wouldn't even be surprised if Pogba was given a new 400 grand a week fucking contract to save them losing face by allowing him to go on a free transfer and having to go out there and spend actual money on a new fucking replacement. It wouldn't surprise me at all. You're spot on. Fucking useless owners, useless fucking board, useless run club. That's the biggest problem at this football club. We can wax lyrical about how shit these tiny bollock players are all day long. And how the bang average Ragnick and the coaching staff, the tactics and all the rest of it is. But what it ultimately does come down to is we are spearheaded. We're owned by a bunch of fucking charlatan twat bag businessmen owner wank sticks. That's what it is. You only need to be subscribed for one minute to chat. So please do hit that sub up if you're new to the motherfucking channel, mate. Bollocks! Fucking useless twats, mate.